Hi everybody, Stella Rose here giving you an update on Hush Money, the sequel. Hush Money is the sequel to my memoir, Shattered Windows, and we are getting ready to launch the sequel. We're still running on time. Halloween seems to be the date that we picked, and hopefully we'll be able to launch it then. I'm going to keep you posted though. So far, the progress that we have made is the following. So the new bookmarks are out promoting the sequel. When you order a signed author copy, you will get one of these in your book. It's a free little bookmark. People seem to like them. So people actually asked me um, to record the Audible for Hush Money. So I'm going to do that after the after we finally get through uploading this on Kindle and everything like that. It's still a work in progress. But I thought I would give you a little an excerpt right now. Um, so let me know how it goes. Preface. The first step in their plan was to keep us all separated, divide and conquer. Their second step was to only allow communication through the attorneys. Any information that I was supplied from either side was always filtered through attorneys. This was a manipulated narrative. Their third step was to make sure we lost our appeal, shutting down my ability to ever go after my father's estate again. This attorney never amended the complaint and never made good on his promise to us that he would present the fraud. The same attorney was a politically connected former county commissioner eager to take your case just to make sure you lost your legal claim. Three years later, I found the same attorney that lost my will contest written up in the news article, which read, under similar circumstances, he loses a politically connected case again, confirming he is either terrible at his job or he's on the take. This lawyer clearly was losing too many cases at his firm. But he did file a lawsuit against the state unemployment board when his daughter's unemployment claim was denied. He sure, he sure showed up for work when his daughter was on the losing side of life, but it was okay for his clients, someone else's daughters, to suffer. There's an old saying, the fish only sees the bait and not the hook. I was the bait, that was for sure. And hook, line, and sinker, I sunk all the way to the bottom. What I can... What I still cannot get over to this day is how a judge could rule on an appeal when he did not have all the files on the case. 74 of our files were missing at the courthouse the day we lost the appeal. The judge ruled on the case, but it was constitutional, but it was not constitutionally correct. They were all playing a game with my life, and even when I had all the proof I needed to win, no one showed up to do the job I hired them to do. So when y'all Google me, know you're not getting the full story.